During the week of September 30, October 4, Robert is surprised by Holly's return. It had been a long time since they had been in contact, since she left town. What he didn't expect was that she was the imposter girlfriend of Sidwell, the man who held Lucky Spencer captive, because they had not seen each other for a long time. They have a lot to talk about, but apparently her presence will make Robert a little awkward, since he now seems to want to start dating Diane. Anyway, this love triangle story will definitely bring a lot of drama to fans. Speaking of love triangles, Ned now holds Drew and Willow's secret. He will likely use it to blackmail Drew, or gain a position of power at ELQ. However, the one who would be hurt the most would be Michael. Even in his wildest dreams, he would never believe that his wife had kissed his uncle twice. It is not a spontaneous act. It is proof of the fact that his wife really has feelings for Drew. Until he knows the truth, he certainly won't leave Willow and Drew alone. In another development, Jason meets Anna again after the rescue. Interestingly, they will be a little embarrassed when thinking back on the passionate kiss that took place at the critical moment. Anna takes the initiative to say that they need time to think about their feelings. After working together for a few months, they actually liked each other more than friends. It was only when Jason decided to work for Sonny that Anna tried to distance herself from him. He nevertheless, rescuing Lucky brought them together once again. And if they are determined to go the long way together, at least their career views need to be consistent. If Jason is determined to choose Anna as his life partner, will he give up the mob? As for Carly, she also senses something is going on between Jason and the police commissioner. Of course, she is a bit disappointed to know that the man she once had feelings for is now pursuing another woman. But Carly has other options, right? At least we have reason to believe that she and Sonny will actually get back together once they work on their alibi. Over with Lucky. He will be tested as soon as he returns to town. It would be ironic if the results showed he was not a match to donate a liver to Lulu Spencer. If so, we can only look to Charlotte who is on the run with Valentin. Next, the Kate's case is not over yet. Although Alexis has been declared the murderer, Sam and Molly have not given up hope of saving their mother from the charges. Martin will also do his best to help Alexis regain her freedom. The case turns dramatic as Sam tries to find the missing gun while Molly psychologically attacks Carly who created an alibi with the mob boss. Molly encourages Carly to come clean with the police. The young lawyer assures her that she will get a lighter sentence if she confesses. Additionally, Molly suggests that Carly should think about Alexis, who is wrongly imprisoned, and Christina, a mother who has just lost her child and is remorseful. Across the hall, Rick sends Heather's sample to several other testing facilities. The results of the test's samples were completely different from the results given by the General Hospital. Therefore, he suspects Portia has switched them. This suspicion is well-founded, as it is well known that Portia hates the idea of Heather being set free. The doctor fears the Hulk will break free from the bars and continue to harm many more innocent people in Port Charles. But Curtis's wife would insist that she always put her duty as a doctor above personal vendettas. All eyes will be on Brad who recently returned to town with a history of him having raped results on multiple occasions. An investigation will be opened during the week of October 7 to 11. Stay tuned to see if Brad is behind this after all. In the meantime, Aiden will be a little awkward when meeting Lucky. It will be difficult to mend their father-daughter relationship, but Liz will encourage them to open up instead of hiding. At the Quartermain Mansion, Brooklyn and Chase feel awkward as Violet becomes more and more withdrawn. After Finn's incident, 
Violet was no longer as cheerful as before. She became quieter and more sullen. According to the plan, Finn will complete the alcohol addiction treatment process and return home at the end of October. But according to some sources, he will die and will not be able to reunite with his daughter. 